dear learners welcome to the session uh, in this session you will uh, learn about human resource management this is the one of the most important chapter in the principles of management course uh, we have divided this chapter into two part uh, this time we are going to discuss on lesson one first of all have a look about the content in lesson one you will learn about the basic concept of HRM and HRM process, factors affecting HRM and identifying the and selecting competent employees. The remaining topic we will uh, discuss in lesson 2. So first of all concept of HRM and HRM process. Here we will mostly concentrate on two issues HRM and HRM process. So what is HRM? Uh, the full elaboration of HRM is human resource management. So human resource management is the practices of recruiting, hiring, deploying and managing an organization's employee. If we say in short, HRM ensured the appointment of right people at the right place at the right time. So what is the importance of HRM? First of all, it is the necessary part of management. We know that different functions like planning, organizing, leading, controlling, staffing, different types of functions uh, have to be performed by the manager. So one of the most important functions of a manager is uh, human resource management. In this part, a manager generally does uh, selection, training and evaluating the workforce. Second one, uh, as an important strategic tool, we know that strategy helps organizations to make a sustainable development in the competi competition. So HRM helps establish an organization's sustainable competitive advantage by developing human being, by improving the skills of the human being that work for the organization. Finally, number three adds value to the firm. High performance work practices lead to both high individual and high organizational performance. Uh, generally, HRM ensure some good practices or best practices for the organizations and also develop best people for the organizations. And these people contribute to ensure the high performance for the organization. So for that three reason, HRM is very important. Uh, what is HRM process? HRM process is the combined activities that ensure right people at the right place at the right time. So here we will see how HRM works. Generally three uh, categorical activities included in the HRM process. Number one, hiring competent employees. You will see in the picture uh, hiring, identify and select the best people. And this three, this job uh, generally done by uh, three function that is HR planning, recruitment and selection. And also sometimes the organization have to de-recruit. We later on, later on we will discuss about what is de-recruitment. In the next part, providing employees with up-to-date knowledge and skills. This is here. So how the organizations or HR manager can do it. Uh, he have to perform two activities orientation and training program to do so and number three retaining competent and high performing employees this is the third job and for doing this job uh, the uh, hr manager have to perform performance management process compensation and benefits and finally ensure the appropriate career development for the worker so this is the ultimate process of human resource management. High performance work practices, what is this? High performance work practices are a set of approaches and HR techniques designed to maximize the productivity and effectiveness of the employees. That means it ensures such an environment, such a good practices so that organizations can improve the productivity of the worker and as well as the performance of the organizations. There are some examples of 
high performance work practice given here number one is self managed team this is the new concept self managed team these types of people they to take the responsibility by themselves for doing the betterment of the organizations and for improving their skills as well decentralized decision making this is true for the large organizations this is very important hr ensured that appropriate decentralization process training programs to develop knowledge skills and abilities this is also a crucial job for the hrm also that ensure the development of the existing skills of the worker by which they can improve their productivity uh, and so on the remaining functions flexible job assignment open communication performance based compensation staffing based on persons job and persons organization fit so that are the example of good practices or high performance work practices for the organization now we will uh, discuss on factors affecting hrm four factor we will discuss here economy labor unions law and finally uh, demography so economy we know that economy is a uh, status of the country and that also mean that the purchasing power uh the financial budget or that related to the finance financing of the of a country but it have some impact on hrm how changes in the economic situation like boom and recession have impact on hrm we know that there is uh, two flow exist in the economy For, first of all uh, boom boom means uh, the time at which the economy of a particular country is growing up at the time the employment opportunity and the facility for the worker both are increases so this is the uh, good environment for the or expected environment of an hr manager but during the recession the employment and benefit goes down people's purchasing power and the sales revenue everything go down at the time the challenges comes to the hr manager because they have to shutting off some activities they have to uh, uh, terminate some people they have to uh, squeeze the facilities of the worker so they need some techniques by which they can do it by maintaining appropriate working environment some other issue like uh, for example lifetime or contractual appointment minimum wage and employment allowance are highly depends on economic situation so there are the factors uh, impact of economic factors uh, other two are employee labor unions and government laws first one is employee labor union labor union is the organizations that represent workers and seek to protect their interest through collective bargaining so uh, labor union is a union or organization of the worker those who are working with the organization so what is the role of union in organizations good working environment depends on the bargaining capacity of the labor union so labor union the demonstrate the make uh, some plan for improving worker skills as well as the have some effort to uh, protect their rights for doing so they need to do some activities like uh, they have to do collective bargaining with the employer they have to arrange training program so if there is a favorable labor union they are the blessings for the organizations because they work as a part of the organizations by which the organization itself Uh, have the chance to grow on the other hand if the labor unions are not so expert they have the shortage of skills and they have the ill motive at the time it is very challenging for the organizations to maintain them S uh, next one is government laws and regulations government law means the law that is uh, generated for regulating the working environment so there are some impact of laws Uh, government law 
limit the managerial discretion in hiring, promoting and discharging employees. So in every cases, whenever an organization go for hiring, recruiting or terminating any employees, they have to follow the government rules and regulations. For example, if an organization want to terminate a worker or an employee from the organization, they cannot do so easily. They have to compensate the worker based on the law exist in that country. Here in our country, Bangladesh, there is a Bangladesh Labor Code 2006. That is a government law that uh, guide and control the labor practices in Bangladesh. So every manufacturing organizations they have to follow this law. They cannot violate the clause that given there. As well as if we see the other law like international law, international labor organizations also guide its member country like Bangladesh by addressing uh, ILO convention to improve the employment environment. So both the cases, local law as well as international law have some guidelines, have some binding for the manager. Now the we will discuss about identifying and selecting competent employees. In this uh, part we will discuss about HR planning recruitment and the recruitment and finally selection first of all HR planning so HR planning ensure the right number and kind of people in the right places at the right time who are capable of effectively and efficiently performing their task uh, in short sentence we can say that HR planning tells or reply that how much or how many worker needed for the organization in the coming future and what expertise required from them. There are some steps existing in the HR planning. Uh, there's three steps. First of all, assi assessing current human resources. That means how many worker or employer working with the organizations, what their current skills. Number two, assessing future needs for the human resources based on technological change based on company strategic planning based on uh, expansion policy of the organizations the hr department generally define how many people they have to recruit it newly and what should be their capacities or skills required for doing their job number three developing a program to meet those future needs and they have to initiate some activities by which they can field up the position that required in the future. So that are the HR planning, HR inventory. HR planning begin with checking HR inventory. So what is HR inventory? HR inventory is a review of current employee resources status. A manpower inventory is a database about employees typically included details such as employees name, job titles, skills, qualifications, experience and other relevant information. That means uh, every organization generally maintain uh, the employee working with the organizations and their name and all that information that is called the HR inventory. So why HR inventory is necessary? The HR inventory helps to identify employee needs. After identifying HR needs, the employer required to do job analysis. HR inventory uh, show what is the differences in requirement between current uh, status and in the in future status. Based on that differences, the HR can decide about uh, next activities so next activities is job analysis we will see in the next part so what is job analysis an assessment that defines a job and the behavior necessary to perform the job like knowledge skills and ability so in one sentence we can say uh, job analysis is the procedure for determining the required number of people for the organizations and the uh, necessary skills required for doing their job. Way of analyzing job, how we can do this? Uh, 
uh, a manager requires conducting interview with the department manager engaging in direct observation they can observe the activities of the different uh, department of the organizations and they can collect the self reports by themselves from the manager of the particular organizations as well as they can talk to the top level authority what's their planning in future based on that they can uh, make the job analysis outcomes of job analysis there is two outcome one is job description and the one is job specification so what is job description a written statement of what the job holder does how it is done and why it is done so job description is the uh, description of the duties and responsibilities performed by the employee in a particular post uh, what is job specification a written statement of the minimum qualification that a person must possess to perform a given job successfully uh, what are the requirement necessary for doing that job for example one we can say about uh, job description uh, like for example uh, for a lecturer what is the job description of a lecturer the job description is that he have to uh, conduct lectures on a particular topic he have to examine the answer script he have to uh, take part in some uh, academic activities like making routine for the students uh, preparing question so that are the job description of a lecturer so what shall be the uh, specification there is a spe specification uh, regarding academic performance like a um, uh, particular degree like uh, honors masters or other higher degree like phd as well as they need to have good command and communication in uh, international language like in english okay so that are the specification required for doing their job recruitment and de-recruitment so recruitment is the process of locating identifying and attracting capable applicants to an organization that means uh, collecting a new employee or new workforce for the organization on the other hand the recruitment is the process of reducing a surplus of employees in the workplaces of an organization sometime for any reason the organizations need to reduce their workers so reducing that worker employee is called de recruitment so we will see in the process later on uh, major sources of recruitment if an organizations want to recruit new people from which sources they can do it uh, there are so many sources exist like internet employee referrals company website uh, college recruiting professional recruiting organizations so what is the recruitment through internet internet means uh, advertising the positions to different online platform uh, that is called uh, recruiting from internet there are some advantages of that uh, recruitment uh, reaches large number of people many people uh, easily will informed about the circular from this online circulation but there is a problem or challenges as many people are uh, knowing about the circular many candidate may apply for a few posts so sometimes it is very challenging identifying the appropriate one from a large pool of candidate employee referrals sometimes the internal employee of the organizations may refer their relative or their familiar person to the organizations to appoint them that is called employee referrals so what is the advantage here the knowledge about the organization provided by the current employee so those who are coming by these refers they already previously informed what is the expectation of the organizations from them but there is a problem may not increase the diversity and mix of employees so as people are coming from the same reference source all the time so the organizations will not get the diversified people from the different area number three company website company website is also an important uh, sources source of publishing advertisement uh, the company can uh, published its uh, circular in their own website so this is also similar to internet 
college recruiting this is very important college recruiting means going to any particular academic organizations and taking uh, walk-in interview walk-in interview means they will invite the students or outgoing students uh, to join in the interview and they can uh, test them uh, at the place and immediately they can also recruit themselves them from the from that academic organizations there is some advantages large centralized body of the candidates so if uh, they can do it they will have a good pool of candidates they will get a good number of candidates those who are highly uh, good academic have good academic result but the problem is that the organizations can do college recruiting only for entry level fresh level but for experience level they cannot do it finally professional recruiting organizations there are so many professional recruiting organizations working for uh, recruiting help like for example bd jobs in our country they have the platform where many employer and prospective candidates are searching and recruiting uh, job so there are some advantages good knowledge of industry and challenges and re requirements so everyone can uh, easily know about the organizations that are going to recruit here but the problem is that little commitment to specific organization as many organizations are coming in that platform so the candidate may not concentrate on the particular organizations so that are the major sources of recruitment uh, de-recruitment the recruitment means reducing the existing workers or employee due to uh, due to what can we say due to uh, reduction in the production amount due to recession due to uh, technological changes or due to top level decision making for any reason they can reduce or terminate the workers so how can do they do it by firing firing means directly terminating the workers so permanent involuntary termination although the employee is interested to continue but the employer is not interested by giving three month two month notice as per the law they can terminate them no problem layoff temporary involuntary termination may last only a few days or extended to years like for example when the economy goes down or there is a recession in the economy uh, there is a uh, f uh, uh, there is a uh, down uh, downing nature in the sales so at the time for the time being the employer can shut off their operation and they can terminate all the workers for the time being attrition attrition means uh, no f not filling openings created by voluntary resignations or normal retirement we know that some if the worker uh, need to or exp or apply for uh, resigning they can do it or also the after uh, completion of the retirement days they can also go for retirement so after these there might vacant some positions for the organization so if the organizations uh, feel that we don't need to recruit new people we can do it by existing people they can do it uh, transfer uh, in some cases some particular department have overflow of the employees so they can reduce it by transferring to the department where there is a low amount of worker uh, reduced work week sometime uh, termination is not necessary due to some legal bindings at the time they can reduce the working hour or work weeks early retirement this is very common in defense uh, defense means army police or some those who are uh, involved with uh, disciplinary activities of uh, uh, maintaining discipline in the country uh, before the retirement is they can uh, terminate or they can force to the employee to resign or to uh, retire from their job before the specific time period and finally job sharing so if the company don't want to uh, terminate the worker they can share the divide the job into two or three worker so that are the recruitment process now selection uh, selection is the process of screening job 
applicants to ensure that the most appropriate candidates are hired that means identifying appropriate uh, candidate from a group of candidate by applying some uh, techniques or methods during selection there are some outcome the outcome are divided into two uh, reject errors for potentially successful applicants accept error for ultimately poor performance we will see in the next here about this issue see every decision of the organizations uh, have two common output first of all see correct decision correct decision when the decision is correct for example the applicant who did based in the exam they will be appointed this is the correct decision another one is that applicants those who didn't do well in the test they will not selected so this is also correct decision the other types is error when error is occur for example here rejecting the successful candidate it means that the candidate those who are attending in the test uh, some candidate those who did well in the test but they are not appointed or they are not selected this is also error as well as selecting the candidate those who are not did well in the test so uh, this is the problem or uh, error outcome for the organization selection validity and reliab reliability is as we have seen that uh, there is an error so the test should be reliable and valid so what is validity a proven relationship between the selection device used and the relevant criterion for successful performance in an organization it means that high test score equate to high job performance it means that those who are doing good in the test definitely it is expected that they will do better in the job this is called validity of selection as well as it shall be reliable also reliable means the degree of consistency with which a selection device measure the same thing individual test score obtaining with a selection device are consistent over the multiple testing instance for example written test uh, at one time written test is identifying the good candidate at the same test in the next time is not helping to identify the good candidate so we cannot say that this is reliable so if every time a particular selection device is uh, just producing or identifying good candidate then we can say this is the reliable test now we will talk about selection device uh, here is a six device or tools first of all application form this is very simple a uh, good job application form is an official form given to the candidates by the employer asking a wide range of question about the individuals and their skills related to the job i think we all know about application form we have to write a candidate name parents name address and other information required by the organizations and second one is written test a written test is a collection of questions to assess the knowledge of a particular subject this is also very simple we also inform about this written test some question asked to the candidate before testing the knowledge about a particular topic and it includes some uh, different question like intelligence aptitudes ability personality and interest test and it is relatively good predictor for supervisory position number three performance simulation test performance simulation test means what it requires the applicant to engage in the specific job behaviors necessary for doing the job successfully it means that the candidate will get a real world situation they will observe under the real world situation how do they perform if they will appoint it so before appointing them testing them uh, by sitting them 
in the real world that is called performance simulation test. We can uh, do it by work sampling like test applicants on tasks associated with their job appropriate for uh, routine or standard work. Like for example, we can say if an in university is interested to appoint lecturer for their uh, um, university, they can organize a demo class. So this demo class will help them to identify who will be the prospective lecturer for the university. Fourth one is interview, a formal meeting at which someone is asked question in order to find out if they are suitable for a post of employment. This is a face to face conversation where the employer asks different types of question uh, relating to the job that have to uh, addressed by the candidate. Background investigation, whenever an a candidate is selected for a particular post the last step before uh, the last step as generally we can say uh, is to check the background so what is this an inquiry to determine the character of a potential employee including verification of identity education employment history personal references credit rating criminal history and so on so before finally appointing an employee uh, candidate as an employee they have to check their personal record F and also physical examination also required physical examination means fitness certificate whether the uh, candidate have physically uh, fitness for doing the job he is appointed for so under this category uh, generally uh, assessment of height weight an examination of various body system such as uh, cardiovascular, respir respiratory and musculoskeletal system. Some this is related to physician. So that are the selection tools and organizations can apply for uh, identifying a candidate from a pool of candidate. Other selection approaches, realistic job preview. Realistic job preview is a recruiting tool used to communicate both the good and bad aspects of the job. Essentially, it is used to provide a prospective employee's realistic view of what the job entails. Generally, uh, we see that after uh, getting appointments, some employees are getting frustrated because they are not getting expected return from the organization what they expect before appointing. So finally before selecting an employee, the manager have to address all the positive and negative aspects of the organization so that those who like or those who accept all the conditions they will stay and those who are not interested to uh, interested to uh, join they will leave. So if the employee candidate join by knowing everything, they will do better. Even they will accept if there is something not happened according to their ex expectation. But they will continue, they will be uh, motivated. But those who are uh, joining without knowing the negative side, after some days they will be frustrated. And this frustration will be the cause of uh, reducing productivity that will both harmful for the employee as well as for the employer so this is also very important realistic job preview so that are the content uh, we have uh, planned to discuss in lesson one uh, concept of hrm and hrm process factors affecting hrm identifying and selecting the competent employees uh, later on we will discuss on, on the remaining issues in the next lesson two so that's all for today. Thank you all for your patience hearing.